Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks, I want to show you how you can change the orientation of an inventor model imported in Showcase. Often, the first reflex will be to use the Rotate tools, which is a common mistake in Showcase. First, I'm going to start in Inventor, where I have my model. And this model do have a couple of constraints that I want to import in Showcase or send over to Showcase. So first, I need to check that these uh, drivable constraints are working. So I'm going to hit Play and make sure that they're working fine in Inventor before I import them into Showcase. So from Showcase, I'm going to go File, Import, Import File. I'm going to point my .im file. Before I click Import, I'm going to click on the Settings and make sure that I um, include the uh, constraint. So I'm going to type in the constraint name here. And to make sure that they're uh, written exactly the same, I'm going to copy the constraint name in Inventor and paste it in the Showcase Import window. That way, I make sure that they're spelled the same way and then there is no spelling mistake. Because if there are spelling mistakes, the constraint will not import in Showcase. So I'm going to paste both of the constraints that I want to import. I'm going to click Close on the setting and click Import. And the import will go through. So, of course, I have pointed to my project file in Inventor. So, I'm going to go through the imports, and my model is import, but it's not oriented properly. It's kind of on the side, and it's not the way I want it to be. So, my first reflex would be to select all the object, use the transform handle, and rotate this model 90 degrees. Now, you think you're all clear, but when you're going to load the behavior, which are the constraints that you have imported, and start playing them, everything will be screwed up and not playing properly, not behaving in the way that you are expecting it. And that is due to the fact that you have rotated the model, but the constraints have not been rotated at the same time. So they're not respecting the rotation that you have applied to the model. So you're kind of stuck and there's nothing you can do other than select all your object, delete them and start over from scratch. So I'm going to import my .im again. I'm verifying that my setting are still importing the constraint, which they will. And I hit continue and I'm going to import my model. It's still going to come with the wrong orientation, but I'm going to press I to open the import status window. And you can see here the .im file that was imported. Now, if you right click on the .im file in the import status window and go to the 3D model properties, you'll notice here that you can change the original up axis. So by doing so, I am correcting the orientation of my model. If I load the behavior, you'll notice that the behavior are playing a property. So basically, when you work in Inventor, I believe the up axis is Y. And when you migrate to Showcase, the Showcase environment up axis is Z. And that explains why the model comes with the wrong orientation. Now, the import status window is also good for something else, and that is to re-upload your model if anything changes in Inventor. For example, if I go back to an Inventor model, and I'm just going to select the body of this object and delete it, and that's going to be my change, just to make sure that it's really obvious. So I delete that, and I'm going to go ahead and save my Inventor model. I'm going to click OK, and my model now is change. So that means that in Showcase, if I go ahead and save my model, it's going to look at this .im file and it's going to notice that something is changed from the model and it's going to notify me that the model needs updates. By pressing the red letter needs updates, the model will re-import again and update the parts that needs to be updated and give me the result. So you see here the body is deleted as it is in my inventor file. So the import status is good to change the orientation as well as re-upload or update your model from any changes that occur in inventor. 